Okay, hey guys, and welcome to today's video. Now, I'm really excited for today's video because I'm experimenting a lot. And let me adjust you guys a little bit. There we go. Okay, so I've been learning a lot with portraits, and I've been experimenting with lots of different media and just having a blast with different mediums other than the ballpoint pen which will lead me to this point right here. So I am drawing in bone point pen right here of Jack Sparrow. And I am still working on the portrait a little bit. It's been taking me around more than six hours to do. I still got this bit and the shirt to go, but other than that, I think it's coming out well. And yeah, I still got about more to go go but that's not what the point of today's video i just want to show you my progress with this portrait right here i have it marked so i can continue to work on it um but that's the progress for that and by the way right here this is a moleskin this is also a moleskin um and what do i mean by experimenting what do i mean by playing with color or something. You guys know I love my cartoons and everything because they're in color and it's bright and truthful. So I'm like, why not try color pencil? So this is Ariana Grande or my attempt at her and um, so far it's so good and I'm going to do the hair part for you guys um, for the color pencil portion of the speed drawing part. So I hope you guys enjoy. I think I got a like this. Um, but again, like this can be kind of tricky for me, so um, I would try to capture expression and everything, but I hope you guys enjoyed this little bee painting. I had fun um, doing it, and I'm going to finish some portrait with you guys. If you guys want me to show you how I start portraits, um, the general process, um, however, uh, that's going to take a while because usually starting a portrait, guidelines, and trying to get position everything right. And that's kind of tricky to do on camera and a lot of pressure to get everything right right off the bat. Um, that's why I like to use guidelines all the time. And um, that's how I uh, map everything out and kind of like a Lego technique a little bit, but um, it's just my personal preference of using guidelines and my family, right? Um, so I hope you guys enjoy today's video. If you like what you see here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Share the notification bell on so you won't miss this video. And let's get started with today's video. Okay, hey guys, and welcome to this part of the video. So I'm actually really impressed with this portrait so far. I'm trying not to like brag or anything, but I was just really excited of how well it's coming out um, for the portrait. Uh, I really don't have much else to say except for a color pencil tip. You want to layer your work and you want to um, just layer and that will help. Like, what I mean by layer, you want to, instead of starting with the nude uh, or peach color, uh, I've been starting out with the dark brown and then layering the peach color on top of that. That will just help it blend a little bit nicely. And uh, I use white uh, to blend the colors out. Uh, with that being said, so, I mean, that's just for the tip for the skin. For the hair, I like to do flicks and try to make it loose and layer uh, with the pencil as well. Uh, I basically use the same techniques as I would do with ballpoint pen, except in color. Um, with that being said, um, I really don't have much else to say other than that, but I hope you guys liked the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Uh, if you have any suggestions or uh, requests for me to uh, draw, let me know in the comments below. I'll be happy to try them out. Like, if you want me to draw, like I did Harry Potter the other day, and I'm doing Jack Sparrow right now, and we're doing Ariana Grande. Kind of running out of people to draw, but uh, if you guys have any questions you want to see me do, uh, just leave them in the comments below. Um, I'll be happy to try to do it. So I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Uh, 
Okay, that give it a big thumbs up. Um, I hope these tips with color pencils help you out. Um, I've been taking a lot of sculpture classes, and that's been helping out too. So, uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the outro. I haven't finished the whole um, hair uh, part of the journal because it's going to take a while to do that. So this is the progress of it so far. Um, I still have this part of it to go and that part. But I wanted to show you quickly uh, more journals I've been doing recently. Um, here's another color pencil portrait that has finished. Um, here's some birds uh, studies that I've been doing with Red Ball Point Pen. Um, here's some portraits that I've been doing in ink and crafting smiles and everything. So I uh, wanted to play with that. And here are some portraits you saw in yesterday's video of the pop art and um, colorful drawings and yeah, so I'm having a lot of fun playing with different styles and different mediums, like, like different mediums, uh, play with, uh, different styles of your portraits. Yeah, it's still the same style, um, but it's fun. So that's the point I wanted to make. Um, you do not need to have, uh, expensive art supplies. I just want to clarify that, but, um, the color pencils I'm using, I'm actually using Prismacolor and I'm using various types of color pencils um, that I have in my studio. Um, but these are the Castle Art Supplies Soft Series and I love these. Um, so, and then Prismacolor Premier Pencils. Um, so I've been using that as well and just combining different mediums and everything and it's just been a lot of fun lately so i hope you guys enjoyed this uh drawing of ariana Gardner attempt um so if you guys have any questions again uh let me know in the comments down below and we'll who knows maybe i'll try charcoal although that is one medium i probably will not try is charcoal so uh you hear that now because that's the messiest medium that uh besides oil pastels and soft pastels um probably not gonna try that because that i mean even color pencil is a little bit out of my comfort zone a little bit i'm used to the ballpoint pen i'm used to um markers and watercolors so uh, I'm experiencing, exper my goal in this sketchbook right here is to experiment in different, uh, mediums and having fun, see how my style develops, and then put that into process with my cartoons later down the road, so, um, just want to clarify that. So, uh, yeah, so I'm really excited how my art is turning out now, and I'm kind of feeling a little confident. I was having self-doubt, uh, early today, but... That's Sunday for you. Like, I'm always feeling self doubt on Sunday because it's Sunday, uh, beginning of the week. So, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm going to wrap it up now, and I hope you guys like the video. Give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, turn on the notification bell, and watch this video. And thank you for watching.